Tonight, nearly 200 of you, actually 229 to be exact, have shared our post with your friends tonight on Facebook. It is about a Treasure Coast woman who claims that she bit into glass and then walks away from a restaurant with a free meal and more. A strange story to say the least. And when servers began talking, they say they learned the woman has pulled the scam, possibly, as you said, Kelly, more than 20 times. Only on five, Megan McRobert with how these restaurants are bonding or banding rather together. Megan. Well, Michael Kelly, one of those restaurant owners actually gave me this shard of plastic. One of those owners who claims he was defrauded by this woman saying this is exactly what restaurant owners are finding or this woman claims that she is finding in their meals. The most recent restaurant to have to deal with an incident like this is Luna's here in downtown Stewart. But thanks to social media, these business owners are also learning that these claims are likely not a result of their wrongdoing. Something as little as this shard of plastic that could be detrimental is enough to put a restaurant's reputation on the line. It could be a bad blow. I mean, you never know. It gets a bad reputation. At two J's in Stewart, a woman claims she found a shard of glass in her food. We pretty much just gave her a free meal. At Twisted Tuna in Stewart, manager Nolan Porter also had to do damage control. She stated that biting into a chicken finger that she felt a foreign object kind of puncture her lip. So is the story at Flamingo Diner, Luna's, and potentially more than 20 other businesses over the last month, including where Kara Crehan works, Carmela's. So I immediately um, told her I'm so sorry that we would comp her food. But the restaurant industry in Seward is a close knit one. Kara told a friend at another restaurant what happened and found they shared the same experience. In every case, a woman in her 30s claimed she'd bitten to a piece of glass or plastic and was bleeding. She said she was a former server and knew which form she had to fill out. I thought putting it on Facebook, I might be able to save someone else from going through something crazy like what we had went through. That brought dozens of other incidents to light. The cost of the comps and in some cases gift cards isn't the main concern. Now I have to go and do all this research and see, did the dishwasher break a glass? You know, do we have to throw things away? It's, it's a big deal for a small restaurant to hear something like that. It was really scary. Oh, we would have gave her a free slice of pizza in a second. If you need a handout, just ask. And those employees tell me they don't necessarily want this woman to be arrested and police tell us that would actually be something hard to do. They just want to guarantee that this will not continue to happen. We did get the incident report from Twisted Tuna. It has a name and a number that she left, but now those employees doubt whether this really is her name. We called that number and it was not her. Reporting in Stewart tonight, I'm Meg McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.